Hello, it's Constantine. Today, I will show you how to create customizable graphics for Canva. We will use a free design tool called Figma, which is commonly used to design websites and applications. But today, we are going to use it to create graphic elements for Canva. If you don't know how to use Figma, it's totally fine because it's easy to use and this will also be an opportunity for you to learn how to use other design tools. Alright, let's get started. So first, go to figma.com and create an account if you don't have one yet. So you just have to click this button over here which says sign up. Enter your email address and your desired password. I'm going to skip this step since I already have an account. Once you're in, you just have to click this button over here that says new design file. Now it's time to create your graphics using shapes and text. So you have different shape tools over here. So just click that and you can insert a rectangle, line, arrow, ellipse, polygon, a star. So to insert a shape, just click the shape that you want. And then go to the artboard and create your shapes. You can even customize them. So for the square or the rectangle, you can adjust the corner radius. So let's say you don't want sharp edges. You can set this to 10 or maybe even 30. Oh, 30. 30. <laughs> so now it's not as sharp as it was earlier. You can do the same thing for other shapes. So let's say I want a star and I want the corners to be rounder. You can set that to 10 or maybe 3. You can even adjust the number of bursts. So let's say you want 10 bursts. So now it looks more like a, a sunburst. So I already made mine over here. So you can also recolor them just like what I did. And these are the different shapes that I made. Pretty basic shapes that you can also create using the using the options or the settings that I played around with earlier. And then to change the color, just go to fill and change the colors here. So here's a graphic element that I made using basic shapes and text. So I just made this uh I just made this shape from a rectangle. I just made the corners rounder so that it looks like an eye. And then I wrote open your eyes. <laughs> and then I added some sparkles. So now to export this or to transfer this to Canva, you just have to select the elements that you want to export. Um if you have multiple layers, wait, let me ungroup this first. So if you have multiple layers, make sure it's grouped first before you export them. So to know if they're grouped together, just drag them around the artboard and they should um, move as one. Um, meaning there should be no element left behind. So to export that, select the element that you want to export. And then scroll down over here at the bottom right or the bottom most part you will see export so click that and then you can change the file format over here so instead of png we are going to save it as an svg we want it uh you, we want to save it as a vector file so now just click export group one and it will save so now I will go to Canva and upload the graphic that I made. As you can see, I actually tested this earlier, <laughs> but just to show you again. Uh, so now we have the graphic in Canva. You can resize it and you can see that um, the quality stays the same even as you enlarge it. 
You can even change the colors here. You can make it pink or red or purple. Is this purple? I don't know. Oh, it's violet. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's how you make custom graphics for Canva. Um, an important thing to remember, uh, people won't be able to search for your graphics through the search bar over here, unlike other graphics because these are made by their team or their contributors. So this one, the file that you just uploaded, it's just for yourself, but if you want to send it to your, let's say your friends or your workmates or clients, you can just send the file, the SVG file, by email or you can share the template directly uh, from Canva or through Canva. So you just have to click the share button over here and share a link to either edit or you can share it to use as a template.